Deadlock of a corporation occurs when the members of its board are in disagreement and paralyze the corporate operations as a result. When a deadlock occurs, the board members often seek redress in the courts. In Wallman v. Littman, the court considered whether it must automatically order dissolution if a corporation's deadlocked board can't otherwise reconcile its differences. The Nirenberg sisters and the Littman family were two competing factions of a closely held corporation that sold garment fabrics. Each group owned 50% of the corporation's stock and had an equal number of directors on the corporation's board. Thus, the groups had equal control and were experiencing deadlock. The Nirenberg sisters were the daughters of Louis Nirenberg, the primary stockholder of the Louis Nirenberg Corporation, or LNC. LNC was the corporation's main fabric supplier. Accordingly, the Nirenberg sisters operated the procurement side of the corporation's business, and the Littmans developed the customer base and operated the sales side of the business. The Littmans sued the Nirenberg sisters, claiming they were undermining the corporation by attempting to persuade its customers to become customers of LNC instead. In response to the Littmans' suit, the Nirenberg sisters filed an action seeking to have the closely held corporation dissolved and have a receiver appointed to oversee the dissolution. The Nirenberg sisters argued that the Littman suit proved that the two factions were so at odds that the corporation was truly deadlocked and thus that dissolution was necessary. The trial court found in the Nirenberg sisters' favor and ordered a receiver for the dissolution. The Littmans appealed to the New York Supreme Court Appellate Division.